This tutorial is designed to teach you how to access all the unauthorized property book equipment for a unit. Before we get into the lesson, there are some key points that need to be discussed. The first key point is that the system captures equipment that is on the primary hand receipt or property book that does not show an authorization or justification for being on hand. The second key point is that the PBO can see all of that equipment that does not have an authorization so that he or she can later add a justification for having those items as needed. The third key point is that GCSS Army is driven by transaction codes. This is different than PBIS. The transaction code Z non authorization on hand can be used to display on hand equipment without authorization. From the PBO menu, we're going to select manage authorizations. And as you can see, Z non authorization on hand is not listed here. That's one of the transaction codes that will need to be typed in the command field. So we're going to hit the backslash and select O to open up another screen and then proceed to type in the transaction code so we can see everything that a particular unit has on hand, but there's no authorization for them having it. And we can press enter. We can open up this screen a little bigger and then proceed to type in the UIC we want to run this report for. Select execute. So what we're looking at right now, this is everything that this particular unit has on hand and there's no justification for them having it. So if you're new as a PBO and you want to run this report to see everything that a unit has on hand and there's no justification for having it so that you can come in at a later date and add a justification or use one of these items to substitute it for another like item, you can feel free to do so as well. So the UIC column shows you everything, excuse me, the UIC column shows you that unit. And we see in the description column, that's the nomenclature of those items that they have on hand. The on hand quantity, self-explanatory. As you can see, they have two power supplies on hand, one multimeter on hand, etc. The PBIC, the TAC, and the ERC will be merged together inside of GCSS Army. The authorized quantity, we're showing zero in all of those different rows because there's no authorization, or excuse me, no authorization or justification for them having that item. The supply bulletin, as you can see, there's no substitutions, no in lieu ofs listed there as well. And we have the difference column that's showing the same column that they have on hand. This report can be emailed, so you can email it or you can export it as well. I'm going to show you how to export it. We click on that icon, come down and select spreadsheet, continue, file name. Where do we want to save this? In this example, we're going to save it to the desktop. How do we want to save it? Excel format. And then we're just going to name it. For this particular example, I'm going to select non authorization and then hit the save button. And now we can come and generate this so it can produce an Excel format for us. As you can see, it transferred by looking at the bytes in the bottom left hand corner. Now we can click off of here and go to the desktop. And once we get to the desktop, we see that it's listed there. We can go ahead and double click on that. And it's opening. So this is the same information that we exported inside of GCSS Army. This is everything that this particular unit has on hand and there's no authorization or justification for them having these particular items. I hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful.